Now to the war in Ukraine and the many ways our community is helping. Last week, we told you how a Central Florida rabbi went to Poland to help Ukrainians make their way across the border. And tonight, Gail Pascal Brown spoke with him about what he has seen and how he's helping. It's a story you'll only see on West 2. Those women coming across the border with those children, that, that crushes your heart knowing that they had to leave their home with a suitcase, one suitcase. Rabbi Stephen Engel of the Congregation of Reform Judaism in Orlando is in Krakow, Poland, working with 30 other rabbis from across the country, bringing much needed supplies. He brought more than 80,000 pills from Advent Health Orlando. There are, there are people who have died on the other side because they're diabetics and they didn't have enough medicine. Once the refugees step across the border, their tents set up with help from almost every organization imaginable. I went to a warehouse where there were 300 baby strollers just piled up for the women that were coming across who had no baby strollers. This is a picture of the menu of all the services being offered from psychologists to veterinarians. I saw one little boy carrying his hamster. He carries his hamster all the way from Kia, on foot, all the way to Poland. After the tents, he says the Ukrainian refugees are taken by bus about a mile away to a huge mall where there's food, childcare, and more. The sadness and the pain, I, I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. I mean, to look at, and, and what broke my heart the most was seeing those kids, little babies. But what inspired this Jewish leader is all the help in Poland. Poland was one of the worst places for Jews during the Holocaust. And all of the constant made their death camps during the Holocaust, they were in Poland. But seeing what the Polish people are doing today, it's a miracle. Still, he says, more supplies are needed. But they don't have enough food in Poland to, to do enough. They don't have enough medicines. They don't have enough diapers. He says you can't fathom the suffering that's going on here, nor understand who's helping until you see it firsthand. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, West 2 News.